Hi everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass and I'm a targeted individual. Um, over the last few days we've had some pretty exciting times here um, with the, the neighbors, the people we rent from harassing us and trying to get us out and calling the police on us and filing complaints against me and um, <clears throat> the police you know the whole situation, the whole story. Uh, Petra is okay for now. She's home. Um, I don't think it'll be too serious. Uh, I still have to go and find out what the situation is for for me. Um, I, I don't know what this guy has in store next. I'm sure he's going to be really unhappy that he didn't, you know, get rid of me yet again. Not only because the Lord, I guess, saw some reason to keep me around. I, I don't know. I'm learning to be humble. You know, it's difficult. It's like you have to balance humility with with something. I don't even know what it is because in our society they teach you pride, you know, and pride is like, oh, I'm so great, I'm so this, I'm so that, and that's not what I'm looking for, no. You know, but there has to be some way that you can feel good about yourselves too without being prideful, so I'm just not quite sure what that word is. Um, I, I, you know, I know I keep talking about religion and, and God and Yeshua, and, but this whole mind control, drugging, torture, watching myself die, and looking at everybody else suffering horribly and not finding any answers for it in the regular world, the world that claims that all that stuff is useless, and where else was there for me to turn but back to that? And it's provided me with hope. It's provided me with a few answers, of course, always with more questions. It's provided me some solace. Uh, I don't know, it's just, I have so many questions and no answers, and I, you know, I read these stories, I watch these things online, like Chuck Missler, uh, Dr. Chuck Missler, he has a lot to say, he's a very educated Bible scholar, and I watch all these things, and I learn this stuff, and I, and I wish, you know, that I had the, the knowledge that some of those people had, that the confidence, the the faith, the the surety, the understanding, the trust, and that's what I really want in my life, because uh, just targeting this thing, this invasion of my brain and and my life and everybody I know and. You know, like all my friends have disappeared, I can't work, I have no money, you know, the whole thing that happens in this world is like you get turned into a whatever, and uh, humanity is being programmed to treat us poorly, so what do we expect, you know? Um, I don't know, I, I, I'm still getting over the the whole... People will think you're crazy, people will make fun of you, people will blah, 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 but you know what? Screw them all. They're not doing anything for me. They're not helping me. They're not holding me. They're not comforting me. They're not walking me through this. They're not providing me with an answer. They're not sustaining my life. They're not going to be there with me in eternal whatever. So... Uh, that being said... I don't know. I was on this uh, this call tonight. This thing they they some call in show with some targeted individual people trying to make sense of what's going on, and everybody's talking. Everybody's got a story. Everybody's got something to say, and 
And I spent like, you know, half an hour or something listening to this trying to say, uh, uh, uh can I, um, and, uh, but, but, uh, nah. couldn't get a word in edgewise, so I let that one go. And I realized that one of the reasons that targeted individuals will not at any time soon become any useful, positive, you know, powerful force for change other than because of their existence uh, is because we are also traumatized by what's happened, you know, and we're like all personally in shock and we're all busy trying to talk about it and make sense of it and narrate our story and, you know, prove that we exist and express our emotions and and try to make sense of it all, just like I've been doing all this time, that we never really hear one another, you know? Um, and I think it's going to take a long time before people come to that point, you know, where they're able to heal enough, even under, you know, repeated traumatization, where they're able to somehow see beyond those personal boundaries and borders that we call ourselves. Because um, it does make you question, you know, who are you really? What are you really? You know? Anyway, uh, I want to thank everybody who's said a prayer for us and thought good thoughts and please continue to do so and we'll be doing the same for everyone who suffers and, uh, you know as time goes on we'll see what happens we're looking for a place we're trying to find an apartment we're trying to figure out if we can scrape up enough money and you know make it through and make it happen or whether we'll have to rent another room and go through this whole thing again or what you know so everything is still up in the air <clears throat> I I'm, can't really go home and until I find out what the deal is and you know so uh, anyway thanks everybody God bless you all have a nice night